doable. Let's do it. No mercy. What you guys see here is a cold climate heat pump that's capable of efficiently heating your home down to minus 22 degrees or minus 30 degrees Celsius. And in the summer months, it's a highly efficient air conditioner. So it heats and cools. I want to clarify that we have nothing against gas furnaces or oil burners. The reason we destroyed them was to capture attention and show just how remarkable this new and straightforward technology is. These systems have been around for a while, yet most people have never even heard of them. That's interesting, isn't it? It is. At the end of the day, this is a total game changer. Whether you live in the US, Canada, China, Russia, you will soon witness changes. And this marks the beginning of the end of an era. This particular system happens to be from GE. We're not conducting a review. Instead, we aim to explain what differentiates a cold climate heat pump from a conventional heat pump and why it can be a superior choice compared to heating your home with gas or oil furnaces. It is important to mention that GE has not sponsored us for this recording, nor have they compensated us with any free equipment. There are a few minor inexpensive components in this condenser that enables it to efficiently heat in extremely cold temperatures. These small differences are what sets this cold climate heat pump apart from conventional heat pumps. In fact, this technology was invented in the 1970s and it's astonishing what took 50 years to come up with it. It almost feels as though innovation has stalled. They've sold millions of gas and oil furnaces since the 1970s, yet no one thought to develop this technology until now. Now, if you happen to know the answer, leave it in the comments below. We probably have a clue, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you have baseboard heating with boiler or other hydronic systems, there's no need to worry. Other options are available. There are hydronic cold climate heat pump systems available that are compatible with those systems. For example, Arctic Heat Pumps specializes specifically in solutions for boilers. Those guys are impressive. The condenser is placed outside and transfers heat through the refrigerant lines into the boiler. So let's remove the covers and we're gonna show you guys those minor components that makes it possible to handle such extreme cold temperatures. All right, so the covers are off, let's get to it. So this is just like a conventional variable capacity heat pump. The components are identical, except for the enhanced vapor injection parts, which I'm about to show you how it works right now. The liquid refrigerant leaves your condenser, which is your indoor coil, and travels through this first expansion valve. It then sends a part gas, part liquid into this accumulator. I'm trying to show the accumulator. The camera's a hard time seeing it. You think you can fit the pencil in? It's down there. That's where the accumulator is hiding. Yeah, right there. Okay, and then? The vapor rises to the top and it sends it up into this solenoid valve. When the solenoid valve opens, it will send a warmer vapor back into this compressor. This warmer vapor going directly into the variable capacity compressor is what enhanced vapor injection is. And this is what makes it a cold climate heat pump. That's how simple that is. So it's basically recirculating warmer vapor back into the compressor to prevent premature icing. Correct. Yeah, unbelievable. It's super simple. Few components, recirculation, and, and that's it. That's how simple this is. Like, I don't understand what took 50 years, 50 years to actually come up with this right now. As I mentioned before, it was invented in the 1970s. So we have some massive crankcase heaters here. This is much more massive. Like it withstand right. cold climates. Yeah. And inside here, you have heaters down here to prevent the ice from building up. And then that's it. And that's it. There's no more to it. Very simple. Now this particular system is a ducted system. However, they do make them in ductless where you can get single or multi heads connected to your cold climate heat pump. Now let's discuss some of the cons and pros of CCHPs versus gas furnaces and oil burners. Number one, cold climate heat pumps are significantly more efficient with reports including savings of around 30 to 40%. Number two, very significant, cold climate heat pumps are cooling your home in the summer. Number three, 
improved air quality. Gas furnaces and oil burners, they tend to dry out the indoor air, while cold climate heat pumps maintain moisture level better in heating mode. And number four, reduced carbon footprint. All right, now let's take a look at the cons of the cold climate heat pump. Number one, they may have a higher upfront cost. This depends on many factors. Number two, cold climate heat pumps typically have a five year shorter lifespan than gas furnaces and oil burners. The typical lifespan of a cold climate heat pump is about 15 years. This is due to the fact that they're running all year in heating and in cooling. That's actually pretty impressive. Yeah. They, they basically run like all, all throughout year. the year. Yeah. Number three, they will lose some capacity in extreme cold temperatures. Lastly, here are some additional brands that have developed cold climate heat pumps. Lennox has risen to the Department of Energy's cold climate heat pumps challenge and is recognized the first to meet it. Their models will be available in stores very shortly. As far as I know, they're waiting for AHRI approvals. Train is a little slow. They announced that the model will be available in 2026, which is next year. I want to mention Mitsubishi, as they've been selling cold climate heat pumps for quite some time now, yet many people are unaware of it. It's actually interesting that not a lot of people heard of Mitsubishi Hyperheat. Daikin, Carrier, along with ICP brands such as Tempstar, Bosch, Ream, also marketed under the name as Rude, York, and Medea, which also encompasses many brands under its umbrella. Now, Medea is a massive Chinese company with incredible engineering skills and highly, highly efficient manufacturing capabilities. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.